My depression has started seeing other people. We don't speak on it. We just wait for poems like this to be written, for the ambulance to be called, for the bath water to let go of the body, but my depression has never said your name like this until tonight. Has never been so excited to have you so close I could hear you breaking in the silence. Didn't want to believe that you would go behind my back and try to take my depression from me. Don't you see what she has done? I'm a garden growing my own insecurities. A poem written a thousand times is still missing its punchline. You know, once my mother tried to take my depression from me. Said that she knows how to dispose of the bad things. Two weeks later, my father died and I watched as my depression grew from under her fingernails. Making her body an ocean to spread his ashes in her mind. Eating her from the inside out. What I'm saying is that my depression does not care who she has to go through in order to get to me. She will always find her way back home. No matter how many stars she has to burn out in the process and whenever I am silent, it's because I know how this ends. When a lover, a family member, or a close friend wants to play soldier and try to pull me out of my foxhole just to leave me the only one in it alive, so run. Before she gets too close, trying to save me from my depression will not help me. She will always find her way back home. This is her way of showing me that she cares. By taking everyone around me away from me and leaving me there in despair. The first time we made eye contact, she told me that she would never leave me alone. And ever since then, she has never been the type to break a promise. She's loved me forever. And languages that only her and I know how to speak in. That only her and I know how to tie into the knot of our own tongues. We speak into each other in languages that we've never spoken into before. So tonight... I don't know what language I would speak to her in when I tell her that it's over and I don't want to take the medication anymore when I have not found heaven in the bottom of the bottles anymore when the water inside of the bathtub is no longer large enough to hold me, her, and everything that we've been through I don't know how she would take the news she's always been the possessive type the type to hold on for too long. But can you imagine living a life so unhappy just for someone else's pleasure? Me and my depression have started seeing other people. And I'm okay with that. And maybe she will be too. And if not, I hope that I have enough strength to be there for the person that she goes to. All right. I appreciate y'all. My name is Jess Marvin. Um